it's Jordan from Born Fitness Consulting. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create automatic responders or ARs in your MailChimp account. So for starters you'll log into your MailChimp account and you'll go to this top tab called automation. Um, this is a paid feature. Um, so if you have the basic version of MailChimp you will need it to uh, pay a little, a little bit of money to use this feature. Um, right here, uh, there's nothing in this workflow because this is just a test account. So to create an automated email sequence, you're going to cre click Create Automation Workflow. Here, uh, you're going to have an option of lists that you want um, this email sequence to be tied to. So if it's a welcome series to your newsletter, uh, you will tie it to the newsletter uh, email list. So here we will tie it to this test email account. And then you have a multitude of options that you can choose from. Um, as you can see, many of these right now are blacked out um, because it requires things that this account uh, does not have capabilities of doing or we have not set up. But for the purposes of this video, uh, I am just going to show you how to create a welcome series um, for your newsletter list. So once someone subscribes to your email list, uh, they can get a sequence of emails that are sent out automatically without you having to do anything. So in order to do this, you just go to the welcome series right here and click select. And it's going to ask you uh, a few things of information. So this can be the workflow name. Uh, only you see this. So it can be Born Fitness Welcome Series Test. Uh, who it's from, Born Fitness. Uh, it's where the users will see uh, who the message is coming from. Uh, the from email address. Um, and then there's some interesting things down here for tracking. Uh, you can track opens, clicks. Um, you should do all of this. One thing that is not set to default that I would suggest that you do is Google Analytics link tracking. Um, if you have Google Analytics as your analytics provider. So you click this um, and then it provides you this title for your email. Um, I will do welcome series test uh, and then we'll do instead of the date we'll just do uh, thank you. So this is important because you can see this uh, in Google Analytics as a referral um, traffic um, and it's much easier to track when you have this name Otherwise, it gives you some code uh, dependent on when you sent the email, and it's, it's just very difficult uh, to know exactly where the referral traffic is coming from. So once you've decided what you want to select and not select, you simply click Next. Um, this is the Configure Trigger. I usually leave all of this as default, and we can click Next. So this is where you actually add the emails. Um, so depending on how many emails you have, uh, you can either do add five emails or you can just do them one at a time. For this example, I'll just do it one at a time. So you do add one email. Um, the automation email, this is where it is right here. And this is actually the delay. So people will subscribe to your list. That's the start of the sequence. And I want to actually change that delay instead of one day. I want to make it immediately. But as you can see, you can change it to happen a few hours if you want a strategic delay, uh, days, uh, or even weeks. But for this purpose of the welcome sequence, I would just do immediately and make sure to save that. So in order to get further into these emails, you just click on automation email one, and then this can be uh, thank you. And then the subject can be thanks for subscribing. Um, 
and it will carry over that title for the email. For the first email, you don't need to change this part for the Google Analytics. Um, and then we can click Next. These are where you'll have your templates. Um, some of you may have some saved templates that you've used. Um, on this test account, we do not, so we'll just do Select the one column. This is what will take you actually to the email, so this can be uh, any of the copy and imagery that you have uh, set up for the thank you email. So it can just say thank you for subscribing. You're the best. And then you can continue to fill out any uh, of this area for copy. Make sure to save everything and then you can click finish. If you want to see how these look uh, let's say in your browser you can send a test email, uh, you can enter preview mode, so actually show you what it will look like on both a desktop and mobile. This is very beneficial. Um, I'd suggest everyone to look at this um, each time they're setting up an email. And then you simply click finish. When you do this, um, it will take you back to this main uh, workflow email page. Um, and if you have multiple emails in the sequence, all you need to do is click add email and then another email will come. So let's say after the thank you email, you want to send an email uh, one day after the thank you email was sent. We can go in and edit that. So it would be email number two. Here's some cool info. Can be the subject. This is where we need to change the analytics. So I would change from thank you to cool info. So this way you can actually track uh, this specific email from the email sequence um, instead of having the same title tracking for Google Analytics. Because that way you can really pinpoint what email is driving the most traffic to your site, landing page, whatever you're trying to send people to. Click next. Once again, you can click uh, a template. For this example, I'll just use this one. Once again, you'll be sent to the edit page where you can create uh, your customized email. Here's the best info I have. And then you can click save, finish, and then it will take you back to this last page. Once again, you can add as many emails to the sequence as you want. So we can continue to add emails. You can change delay instead of one day. You can make it four days after the last email was sent. Um, and it, this would just continue down until you have no more emails in your AR sequence. Once you've completed this, all you do is click Next. You can review. Um, and as you can see, I actually have an issue. So there's no subject line, so this isn't going to let me complete. So all you would need to do is click Resolve. Do AR number three. Select this. Obviously, I don't have any copy as we've been doing. Test, test, test finish, go to next, everything looks good, ready to send your workflow, and then all you need to do is click start workflow. It'll ask you to verify, you can, and then your AR sequence is completed. Um, all you need to do then is click on automation, and once this begins you can actually click um, and see the opens, the clicks, how many people it's been sent to. Um, it'll actually show you how many people are in each part of the queue right here, which is beneficial. Um, and then if you ever want to actually edit an email in your AR sequence, you will need to pause the campaign. And then you can go in and edit that specific email. 
without pausing that email, you will not be able to edit the copy within. And then just make sure once you are done editing to resume the email. And that's, that's it. Um, that's all you'll need to know for starting your first Welcome Series AR sequence on MailChimp.